Hey, NZ Harley Riders, it's been a while, right? It's been quite a while since we've connected. Well, with me on a Harley anyway, so it's been a while. So I just want to take a minute to talk about one little thing. And uh, some guys straight away are going to turn this video off once they hear me talk about it. Do you loan your Harley? So this is a big question, right? I, I was raised by, you know, men's men. Uh, they had like three rules. You never lend your fishing rods. You never lend your chainsaw. You never lend your wife. None of these guys owned um, Harleys, but those were their three rules. So the question is today, would you lend your Harley? Now the reason we're even having this conversation is, because look at that, it's a beautiful day up north here, and I've got a bunch of mates that have traveled up uh, from all over the place. Uh, they call themselves the Mavericks. I'm going to go for a ride with them today to the Cape. Uh, some interesting guys in their group, and so I'm going to introduce you to some of them. See how we go. And probably the question I'll ask them today is, would you lend your Harley? So this isn't where you'd expect a NZ Harley ride to start up. But the reason I ask the question is, would you loan your bike? Is today I'm borrowing a bike. Getting over to my mate's place. Uh, he asked me a month or two ago, uh, to take it for a blast because he had, it hasn't been out and um, it's a fat bob Dynafano and I really um, I really like fat bulbs I've never ridden one though so I'm pretty keen to go for a blast okay NZ Harley riders here it is here is the uh, fat bob and I'll talk to you a little bit about that later but my question for the day is this is the owner of the bike Dion do you loan your Harley out it's a big question but you know when you got friends like Trevor who else could you trust hey eh? That's, uh, that's a great answer. That is a great answer. Look after us, please. <laughs> She'll be sweet. Um, <laughs> have you ever had the same road it like you stole it? That's when you own the bike, when you borrow the bike, you, you just treat it like a princess. So that is the question. Um, I'd actually lend this guy my bike if I had one. I would. Uh -huh. uh, no, I wouldn't. You never lend your Harley. No, you do. You do, so so Trevor's one of those guys when you, it's called the borrow it, break it, fix it rule. Tell us about that, Mooch. So I trust Trevor that if he crashes this bike, he's good for it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I haven't got him. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm totally cognizant of the saying that you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. And while it's not given to me, it is given to me. But my mate, you know, this is what he says. He goes, uh, make sure you give it a wash before you bring it back. I'm like, bro, what the heck? Bro, see this dust? Oh man, it is so hot here today. Uh, going with the vest, too hot to be in a jacket. Just trying to get my rhythm back, eh? Just thinking through, okay, what I want to wear, what I want to take. <laughs> Getting excited. Would you loan your bike to me? So just uh, out here at the BPR Wanui waiting for the boys to come in. Uh, BPR Wanui actually is quite a popular place for a meetup for bike rides. And um, I don't know, like I don't normally ride with a bunch of guys, right? So these guys are quite structured how they ride apparently and they like to do their you know sort of formation stuff so um hopefully well it's a great day but um yeah nz harley ride we are harley riding in new zealand fat bob would you lend your bike These guys the, the mavericks so they're just a social club mates that hang out like to ride well welcome to the real far north brother first up so um three questions first question is um oh this a quick intro Awesome. Tell me about your bike here, bro. Uh, I got a 2013 
Heritage Softail Classic. Uh, picked it up uh, April of last year. Excellent. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm doing a bit of a theme today, bro. Asking uh, on on this um, particular vlog, and the question, some last question, the question number three is, um, would you let me borrow your bike? Any time, bro. Wow. Any time. Straight wow. up. Straight up. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, okay, cause, cause you we're riding next to each other, so you know I can, can ride. But is it a thing? Do you loan your bike? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely but, not. But, All right, brother. Three questions. Introduce yourself first. Ah, uh, called Joel Armstrong. Took Awesome. And what do you ride, Joel? Harley Road Globe. You um sort of have a different sort of thing with bikes, eh? What are you up to? A parts bazoo. Try to get a bit of a bigger after aftermarket parts bazoo network happening here in Aotearoa. And uh, started up a bit of a NZ Vickler scene at the moment. The old low riders over here. So just starting to get them pumped again. Awesome. So post production, I'm going to chuck up a couple of pics of um, some of the bikes you've done. I've got a bit of a theme running today, and the question is uh, third question. Question number three, Joel, is um, would you let me borrow your bike? Of course. Wow, look at that, Fanny. All day, bro. So, what's your criteria, though? Like, um, you so just loan it to any, like, is it just me, or is it just for you? Good morning, brother. Oh. Uh, so my name's Francis Tungana. Awesome. Uh, come from Old oh, Papa Toy Toy. Main, main. And what are you riding today, bro? So I'm riding a 2014 Dyna Street Bob. Main. It's um quite quite nice to follow you on that bike. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got. It's quite different looking from the back, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Main. Awesome. And so um I'm just asking around bikers today, would you um let me borrow your bike? Of course. Man, what a, is that I've just seen a, the way you ride, man? Is that yeah, a, yeah, yeah. So, so, of course. Don't believe that. <laughs> but if you're awesome. cutting all over the road, all over the road, oh, no, 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 I was sorry, riding my like cuddle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 watch him, watch him. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that guy. Yeah, brother. Awesome, very Welcome to the far north. Thank you, brother. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hard. There you go. Awesome, and what are you riding today? Uh, Vero. Awesome, awesome. And um, I'm just sort of asking people today, like, let me borrow your bike? Of course. Well, I love it. Good to have you. Love it. Not just any Joe Blog that doesn't know how to ride. Okay, NZ Harley Riders, here with the brother Damon. Uh, three simple questions, bro. First one, um, quick, quick intro. Kia ora, Damon, Damon Ramka, uh, based out of Takanini, Tamaki Makaure. Awesome, awesome brother. Um, second question, what are you riding? I've uh, got an old school 05 Road King, had it 13 years. So she's an old girl, she's been around the Wow, 13 years. A few trips to the South Island, a few trips here to the Cape. Beautiful. She's an old girl, but she's the one. Me? Alright, here's my question three. Um, would you let me borrow your bike? Of course. Of course. Not a problem, mate. What's that about? Like, oh, well, I know you and I know where you live. <laughs> so, it's been an awesome day with you fellas today on the road. Awesome for coming out, bro. The tow took a while. Yeah. Come on up here to the cake. Beautiful. Let's go take a look at the view. Look at this. I've said it a whole lot of times on these these sort of trips. That New Zealand's a beautiful place. But the ride to Cape Reingo from Kaitai, it's probably about an hour twenty. Look at this day. Probably about an hour twenty and um, I think it's one of the most premium rides you can do in New Zealand. You get up um, on some beautiful long straights, 
the views are amazing and there's plenty of corners you actually have quite decent roads for riding so um, I'd recommend it uh, especially on a day like this gets a solid um, 9 out of 10 great company too these fellas are fun ok team here's a really important thing to know when you come up north to Cape Reinga there's actually a uh, there's a Bowser about 20 kilometers south of Cape Reinga and so uh, it's like a self serve one always recommend you that you should fill up in, in Kaitaia Awanui before you head north um, but then if you get to Waitiki and you need gas uh, you should be alright here so a trip to the north isn't really a, a trip to the far north unless you stop into coal uh, you gotta stop off here there's an obligatory ice cream tax in the far north and um, if you don't stop at the coal and get an ice cream you gotta pay your taxes Fano. you won't be eating ice cream if you don't stop and pay the ice cream tax all right so i'm here with uh with the bro, bro chris chris um i'm just asking the brothers three questions to say what we're cruising first question is um intro and where you're from Chris Debs Hamilton, owner of Royal Cars and Motorcycles. Awesome. And um, what are you riding today, Chris? I'm riding an Indian Challenger. Let's have a look at it. Elite. Pretty special bike. So, Chris, the third question this is the last question is um, would you let me borrow your bike? I said, I said borrow, not I buy. I know, but the way you convert people is put them on the machine. The machine sells itself. If it's not today, if it might be next year, you'll end up buying a chieftain or a, or a challenger, an Indian, in fact. <laughs> my, my channel is like NZ Hardy Rider, though, yeah, so I'd have to start a new channel. I'd have to be NZ Indian Rider. <laughs> I'd better shut my mouth then. <laughs> so, actually, I'm coming to Hamilton in a few weeks. I'll be keen to borrow a bike for a ride. Yep. Um, so, you just come into the yard, show my license, and go for a ride. Is that how it works? Just because it's you, bro. And so, um, Fano Royal Cars and Indian Motorcycles are sold out of Hamilton. Uh, Chris has got a cafe there and he's um, biker friendly, so call in there on your bikes. Harley's are welcome in there. He's got a bunch of Harleys for sale too, he tells me. So, um, call in and see the brother. It's Route 66 Cafe. So, ice cream done, Fano. Um, the brothers are just packing their bikes now. We're up into coal, but I'm not going to follow them down the east coast. They're going to Monganui for fish and chips. So, we've just set our hoorays and, um, so, it's been a good day, nice day up the Cape, good to be with some, some of the brothers riding. It's always nice to sit back and just listen to the bikes, they can't beat it. Interesting, the old, uh, would you let me borrow your bike? Had about six uses today, it's not a bad average. But then there's saying it, and then there's really little you, eh? So here's that embarrassing thing, back at the petrol station. And um, can't get the petrol cap open. Been turning it for about 20 minutes. Oh, it's wrong there. It's a bit of a worry. <laughs> what do you know it? Man, I can't get that flipping petrol cap open. So I, I rang the mate and I said, Look, Dion, look, I know you when you borrow something, you take it back how you found it. And uh, of course he's saying, oh, the old drop it back, no petrol in the tank. That happened to me, of course. Anyway, the sun's setting, and I could spend another 30 or 40 minutes turning the petrol cap to no avail. It's not going to get his uh, bike washed, is it? Because I want to give it a wash. Pretty dirty. Come on, mate. Don't loan your bike out dirty. Anyway, I've had a choice day with the, the fellas up north. Fat Bob. Feedback. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little responsive bike. If, well, I say little, I shouldn't say little, because it's, you know, 96 cubic inches. No complaints about this at all. Actually, I've had a great day on it. Would I borrow it again? If he lets me bring it back with no petrol. <laughs> awesome. He said, Harley riders can't be today. You've got to go up north. Um, I didn't take much footage today, because most of the time I was just concentrating on, on my lines and riding in the group setting. Chris from Royal Cars and in Indian or whatever, I'm, I'm gonna start test riding some of his bikes. And, um, and the bro Joel, you wanna check out his Vicla looking bikes, awesome custom fella. 
he'll work on the bikes or he'll source the parts for you. Nice and clean. That's what I was told, eh? Always take something back that you borrow better than you found it. So except for the petrol. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Honestly, vouchers coming your way. Lots of people, when they see a Harley, they want to jump on a Harley and give it a ride because it's like, you know, it's like a bucket list thing. For me, if somebody asked me, can I take your bike for a ride? I'd say no. But I have lent my bike. I have let someone borrow it. And I offered. Uh, and I had a mate who came out from Australia, was here in New Zealand, and he wanted to ride from Kaitai up to Cape Ring, the, the ride that I've done today. And I knew he had a big bike at home. He, he had an, an ultra wide or electric wide. A uh, big touring bike. I knew he was used to big bikes. And, uh, and I knew that he would be so happy to go on this ride. So I had him up, I sent him a message like, bro, you want to borrow my bike? I'm not going to be here that weekend. If you want to take it, it's yours. And he did. He stood guard on it whenever he wasn't on it. Came back washed, clean, tidy, full of gas. And so would I lend my bike? Yes, but not if you ask me. So it's been an awesome day today. And uh, I'm glad I went. I probably should have stayed and done some work. But if you have a bike in the garage and it's a nice weekend like, like we've just seen today, get on it and ride. And if you don't want to, and if it's accumulating dust in your shed, give me a yell. Come give it a ride for you.